Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates and if I appear a little tired today, the thing is, I planned to go to bed at midnight last night. I said I found myself involved in a six hour conversation with God. God hasn't spoken to me for a few months now, but last night his message came through loud and clear. 2014 is going to be a truly wondrous year for those of us in the faith. I know what he has asked me to do, and I am currently preparing for that which will come. Is he talking to you? Are you listening? If he is calling you, do what he says. It's Deuteronomy chapter 31 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Moses went and spoke these words to all Israel. He said to them, I am 120 years old today. I can no more go out and come in. Yahweh has said to me, You shall not go over this Jordan. Yahweh your God himself will go over before you. He will destroy these nations from before you, and you shall dispossess them. Joshua will go over before you, as Yahweh has spoken. Yahweh will do to them, as he did to Sion, and to Og, the kings of the Amorites, and to their land, whom he destroyed. Yahweh will deliver them up before you, and you shall do to them, According to all the commandments which I have commanded you, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or scared of them, for Yahweh your God himself is he who goes with you. He will not fail you, nor forsake you. Moses called to Joshua and said to him, In the sight of all Israel, be strong and courageous, for you shall go with these people into the land which Yahweh has sworn to their fathers to give them and he shall cause them to inherit it. Yahweh himself is who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you, nor forsake you. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Moses wrote this law, and delivered it to the priests, the sons of Levi, who bore the ark of Yahweh's covenant. And to all the elders of Israel, Moses commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, the set time of the ever release, and the feast of tents, when all Israel has come to appear before Yahweh your God, in the place which he will choose, you shall read this law before all Israel in their hearing. Assemble the people, the men and the women, and the little ones, and the foreigners who are within your gates, that they may hear, and that they may learn, and fear Yahweh your God, and observe to do all the words of this law. And that their children, who have not known, may hear and learn to fear Yahweh your God, as long as you live in the land, where you go over the Jordan to possess it. Yahweh said to Moses, Look, your days approach that you must die. Call Joshua, and present yourself in the tent of meeting, that I may commission him. Moses and Joshua went, and presented themselves in the tent of meeting. Yahweh appeared in the tent pillar of cloud, and the pillar of cloud stood over the tent's door. Yahweh said to Moses, Come, you shall sleep with your fathers. This people will rise up, and play the prostitutes after the strange gods of the land, where they go to be among them, or forsake me, and break my covenant which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured. And many evils and troubles shall have come on them, so that they will say in the day, Haven't these evils come on us because our God is not among us? I will surely hide my face in that day, for all the evil which they have done, and that they turn to other gods. Now therefore, write this song for yourselves, and teach it to the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. For when I have brought them into the land which I swore to their fathers, flowing with milk and honey, and they have eaten and filled themselves and grown fat, then they will turn to other gods and serve them, and despise me and break my covenant. It will happen, where many evils and troubles have come on them, that this son will testify before them as a witness, for it will not be forgotten out of the mouths of their descendants, for I know their ways and what they are doing today, before I brought them to the land which I swore. So Moses wrote this song, 
the same day and taught at the Jin of Israel. He commissioned Joshua the son of Nun and said, Be strong and courageous, for you shall bring the Jin of Israel into the land which I swore to them. They will be with you. When Moses had finished writing the words of this law in a book, until they were finished, Moses commanded the Levites, who bore the ark of Yahweh's covenant, saying, Take this book of the law and put it by the side of the ark of Yahweh's covenant, your God, that it may be there for a witness against you. For I know your rebellion and your stubbornness. See, I am yet alive with you today. You have been rebellious against Yahweh. How much more after my death? Assemble to me, or the elders of your tribes, and your officers, that I may speak these words in their ears, and call heaven and earth to witness against them. For I know that after my death you will utterly corrupt yourselves, and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you, and evil will happen to you in the latter days, because you will do that which is evil in your own sight, to provoke them to anger for the work of your hands. Moses spoke, the ears of all the assembly of Israel, the words of this song, until they were finished. Yeah.